got a great podcast called We Watch Wrestling, and he's on Comedy Central's new show, Corporate. Everybody, Matt McCarthy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, saw Brooks at Monday Night Raw. It was amazing. Big wrestling fan. Anybody here a wrestling fan? It's the tepid response I've come to expect. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, somebody said to me once, Matt, explain to me why you love pro wrestling so much. And I was like, oh, should I explain sunsets to you while I'm at it? <laughs> Same person, they were like, Matt, you like pro wrestling. Do you like MMA? I'm like, no, I don't like MMA. Why would I want, why would I want to watch them actually hurt each other? What am I, an asshole? I got to deal with guys like Joe Rogan being like, oh, MMA is way better than pro wrestling. Why would you watch a fake fight when you can watch a real one? I don't know, Joe. Why would I watch news radio when I can listen to news on the fucking radio? <laughs> Explain that one to me, bro Brogan. There's a lot of Joe Rogan hate on the show tonight, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. I love it. It's so funny. We were talking about uh, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette backstage. My wife texted me. I was doing a show, and she's like, oh, my God, Matt. The Bachelorette finale is three hours long. I'm like, yeah, so is Raw every week. Grow up. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I have a son. He's almost two. I'm raising him to be a professional wrestling fan <laughs> because I want my son to be a good person, okay? Pro wrestling fans are the greatest people in the world because that's all they care about is justice. That's what pro wrestling is about, the pursuit of justice, good versus evil, the little guy beating up the big guy, you know? A man alone fighting for what's right. That's what it's about. People are like, oh, wrestling fans, they're all loud and violent. I'm like, maybe, but. It's sports fans you have to look out for. And it doesn't matter the sport, any sport. They're the ones. Because what are they rooting for? Themselves. Selfish, self-seeking, awful people, okay? <laughs> my team, my city, my trophy, my jersey, me, 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 me. You know the type. <laughs> there are Buffalo Bills fans out there right now that are so happy OJ got paroled because now he can continue his investigation for the actual killers. Okay. I love it. They think they own the team, too. They're like, ah, that's my team. No, it's not your team. You don't own the team. What are you talking about? We got a great team this year. No, we don't. We're not on the team. What are you talking about? Oh, they represent my city. No, they don't represent your city, okay? If they actually represented your city, the LA Rams couldn't have left for 35 years and been in St. Louis, and now suddenly they're back like some deadbeat dad that found out we're rich? <laughs> Come on, that's what's fake. That's what's fake. Pro wrestling is real, because it's about something actual, good. Ah. <sighs> There's a lot of rules that you have to adhere to if you were to be a professional wrestling fan. Rule number one, never say never. Never say never, except twice when you say that rule. <laughs> Anything can happen in pro wrestling. Did you know that? Anything can happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. Did you know that every wrestler ever is behind the curtain? You don't know who's coming out. That stuff doesn't happen when you're watching other sports. Like, you're not watching, like, the Chargers versus the Saints, and all of a sudden, Joe Montana comes running out on the field. They're like, what the hell's Joe Montana doing here? He's got no business here. What the hell is he doing here? Come on. That's what I want. So that's rule number one, never say never. Rule number two, boo the heel. What is a heel? You will know him by his wrongdoing. Don't worry. Rule number three, cheer the baby face, for he is our hero and represents all that is good within us. 
Rule number four, stay on the goddamn referees. These are the most incompetent buffoons <laughs> who disgrace themselves and the uniform on a nightly basis. I'm begging you, turn around, they're super kicking everybody! Exhausting. And the final rule of being a professional wrestling fan is to stand tall. You're not a mark. You're a beautiful snowflake. Thank you, ladies. Because there's a lot of people in the world who try to make you feel bad about being a wrestling fan. I don't understand it. You know, I've tried to explore the idea and I've come up with some theories. I think it's just ultimately people actively don't like other people who like things they don't understand, you know? It doesn't matter what it is, but I find it to be the case because I'm such a big pro wrestling fan. So I've kind of come up with some responses and retorts for my fellow wrestling fans that feel free to incorporate these into your own lives. <laughs> uh, now, first of all, I need to say this right off the bat. If somebody comes at you with a really well thought out, intricate intellectual argument, you need to bail immediately, because they're way smarter than you are. <laughs> Let's face it, we're wrestling fans. So, for example, if somebody says something like, oh, professional wrestling, that endorses solving problems with violence, just very quickly say, well, so does the government, and then fucking walk away. <laughs> just, whoo, whoo, he's gone. <laughs> but like the more common, simpler arguments you face as a pro wrestling fan, uh, things like, oh, it's fake, it's gay, it was better when I was 12. Um, I'll address those one at a time. But again, if you can just shut it down quickly, shut it down quickly. Like, you're fake, you're gay, you were better when you were 12. <laughs> It'll be correct in every instance. But, yeah, the most common one is, oh, pro wrestling is fake. Oh, pro wrestling is fake. You're the guy that figured it out? I read about you in history class. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, how did, you, how did you figure it out, guy? Of course it's fake. Everything is fake. Nothing is real. Everything is fake. People are fake. Borders are fake. Laws are fake. We made it up, guys. <laughs> it's a TV show. Of course it's fake. Everything on TV is fake. Every TV show you've ever seen is fake. Every fucking movie you've ever seen is fake. Every document, especially documentaries, are fake. <laughs> the president says the news is fake. Explain that to me. <laughs> Every play you've ever seen is fake. Every play that you've ever read in high school is fake. Every play that Shakespeare ever wrote is fake. Shakespeare! Shakespeare is fake! <laughs> Columbus discovering America and making friends with the Indians? <sighs> Your whole world is bullshit. So might I suggest SummerSlam this weekend. Oh, pro wrestling, that's gay. Oh, homophobia, that's a hate crime. Congratulations. Good for you. One guy, he actually said to me once, he goes, oh, pro wrestling, that's like the gayest thing ever. I'm like, mm, clearly you've never seen two penises touching, because for my money, And and end to end too, like the like the penises are kissing. Their little penis lips are just locked in a little penis kiss. That's and slowly, like spaceships about to crash into each other. Very well might be the gayest thing ever. I don't know. Same guy. He's sitting there watching it with me. He goes, "Oh, look at that! Look at that!" I'm like, what? He's like, the, he's sticking his hand in his crotch. He's picking him up for a body slam and he's sticking his hand in his crotch, right? I'm like, yeah, he sticks his hand. If you can come up with a better way to body slam someone, I'm all ears. It's incidental. You put your hand in his crotch, you pick him up and you body slam him. That's how it's done. You also can't sing the song, My Country Tis of Thee, without singing the line, My Cunt. So if you're looking for it, you're gonna find it. That's on you. And finally, my absolute favorite, it was better when I was 12. Again, 
you were better when you were 12, okay? And try to find that person inside of you, that sad, lonely 12-year-old, the one in the corner crying, saying, why won't you let me watch wrestling anymore? It's better now than ever, but I'm missing it because you're so worried about what other people think about you. Hey guys, do you wanna know what other people think about you? Nothing. <laughs> do you wanna know why? Because they're too busy wondering what you're thinking about them. <laughs> you see, it's a sickness we all have. There's no time to judge other people because we're all too terrified. So my idea is be who you are, like what you like, and never worry. That is what pro wrestling means to me. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'm Matt McCarthy.